Hey guys, Dee Dee here. How are we all doing? I hope you are doing well. And I'm hoping the lighting is a little bit better. So I actually have a daylight bulb in at the moment because I'm trying to help all my plants thrive during this like ugh winter, which I mean, I, actually that's a lie. It's actually been quite sunny the past few days, but I have it on now, just a little extra supplement. So I'm hoping that the light's not so yellow. Also, excuse the hair because yes, I know it looks atrocious. I just couldn't be bothered, so I just threw my hair up. But yeah, I'm here with, I guess, our November plant haul. And how many have I got? Two, four, wow, only four. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shocked at myself that I only bought four plants. But um, yeah, these are kind of plants that I, I've been, again, wanting. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first two plants that I got are actually polka dot plants and what's the, the, the technical term, <laughs> the Latin name, I think they're called hypostes, I really hope I said that correctly. The first one that I got is actually a red polka dot plant and yes it's growing, I basically went a bit crazy and chopped it all off hoping that it would grow a lot fuller but instead it's just growing upwards and it has a flower, but I guess because I've just moved, don't focus on my face, focus on the blood. Um, I guess because I just jostled it, that it moved. So that's a flower. Um, I didn't actually even know these guys could flower, so I think it's now, yep, we'll just take that off. <laughs> but yeah, I, I tried to like chop it up so that it would get um, fuller, but instead it's just kind of growing leggy and upwards and I don't know why, I don't I don't really know what to do with it, but as of now, yes, I know, I don't have a proper pot for it, so it's like in a pot, inside of a pot, but, <laughs> you know, that's that's just how we do. I've wanted these for a while, they're just really cool, again, it's like the Fetonias, which are behind me, which, I'm like, where? <laughs> um, they're just really interesting to look at, so I've also got a white one, which this one seems to be faring a lot better, there we go, can you see it? This one seems to be faring a lot better than the red one, but again, I did chop this off to try and promote growth, and it worked a lot better in this one compared to this one. As you can see, that was my phone dropping, by the way, because it's, it's my viewfinder. <laughs> if, you got, if you're new here, I'm blind, and uh, I need a viewfinder literally right in front of me, otherwise I can't see crap. <laughs> I don't know why. One's doing better than the other, I think I just have to get back on the game of um, misting them and having a humidifier around because I don't actually have a humidifier in here anymore because it just died. It died on me. My like, it wasn't even really a humidifier, it was like a tiny one, but but it died. So, RIP humidifier. <laughs> but yeah, so those are the two plants, first first two plants that I got. And then the next plant that I picked up is this, the Aeschcananthus Black Pagoda. And um, it's actually in bloom, but obviously I'm not sure if I can show you... Where even are the flowers? I'll throw it there. So like, I don't know if you can see that. Because I'm blind. Yeah, there you go. So it's in bloom. These blooms aren't really anything to talk about, to be honest. They're not really anything fancy, like the other lipstick plants, but I bought this primarily for the foliage because uh, this foliage is just like, wow, seriously, nature keeps on impressing me with like all these different like colours, patterns, textures, it's just, it's awesome. So yeah, it actually already came like trellised, I'm not sure if I want to keep it on the trellis or like have it hang down or like make a like pole or something, I don't know, because I just, I'm, I'm kind of not feeling this trellis anymore, it's like really wobbly and yeah. But <laughs> this is what it looks like. As you can see, those awesome, you know, you can see through the leaf. I think you can see, like, see through them. And then you look at the backs and like, oh my God. It's just like, wow. Seriously, this is really eye-catching. And these light, lighter green leaves are actually new growth. So I'm happy that I managed to get this. And yeah, it seems to be doing well because it's flowering for me. I don't even know what I've done to make it flower for me. It literally flowered within the last... Ooh, like four or five days, something like that. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, like one day I went up to it and I was like, what the hell is that? And I saw that there was like these blooms. And obviously I know lipstick plants do bloom, but I know a lot of people say that they have difficulty getting them to bloom. And I actually don't even know, is it time? Like, is it the season where lipstick plants bloom? I don't know. <laughs> but this one's doing it, so you know. 
but yeah it's it's just oh my gosh love this plant and then the next plant that I got oh my god I was looking for this plant for like ages and ages and ages and I just couldn't find it anywhere I don't know why you guys in the states again <laughs> I'm gonna say it you guys get access to so many more plants than I feel like we do over here or maybe I'm just not going to the right places that could be it but the next plant that I got is the Tenanthi Lubersiana or the golden mosaic now you're probably wondering what's up with this plant and like <laughs> why has it been hacked to pieces so basically when I got this it was not in the best of conditions and like I saw a little bit of kind of like brown tips on it on them and you know I just thought it was kind of humidity so I was like oh you know it'd be fine get it in the humidity and then I had it home you know it acclimatized and I just noticed I'll insert a picture of what it looked like but the leaf there was like this brown stuff on the leaf and it just kept on spreading and spreading and spreading and I just thought you know maybe it would like again it's humidity related it would be fine but I, then once I started noticing that it was spreading then I was like oh okay that that's not like a humidity that's got some kind of like disease I don't know I, I want to say it was blight but I'm not really sure because I'm not really up on my like bacteria fungal infections for plants but it was one of those and so I just kind of like chopped the infection I guess you could say out doused it in cinnamon and I took it out of the humid environment and I actually brought it down here so it got a lot more light and, but less humidity and now even though oh I just watered it as well but now that <laughs> I mean it looks disastrous but it's now giving me two new leaves so once these have like matured a bit I'm just gonna hack these bits off and then hopefully it will start growing a bit more because obviously I didn't think this was going to survive, I really didn't. I was just like, I'm cutting it off, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try my best to like keep this alive because this was actually on my wish list and I wanted this for so long and then when I found it I was like, oh my god, like, if you would have seen me when I found this, I freaked out, so yeah, I was like really sad that it had an infection and was dying, but now obviously it's giving me new growth so it seems to be surviving so I'm crossing the fingers that it, it continues to do well uh, I actually sprayed it down with hydrogen peroxide once I um so I noticed even after I cut off the infection that it was still spreading so then I was like not taking any chances I got my hydrogen peroxide spray and I sprayed it down for like four days in a row and it seems to have done the trick because again <laughs> It's got brand new growth that has no signs of infection or anything and now like this one in this stem I don't know if you guys can see it I had actually like a leaf was a new leaf was gonna come out but then it just kind of rotted and died so um, I just again doused cinnamon in it and then I doused it in hydrogen peroxide and I left these on because obviously the plant still needs to try and make some food and then yeah it rewarded me with babies so I'm just I'm like doubly happy that I have this plant and that I was able to save this plant and that I'm hoping again crossing the fingers that it's it's gonna oh my god I just noticed it's got new leaves coming out of the new leaves already <laughs> um I will try and get a close-up of that oh my god yeah so you know because ah! look at this I mean Okay, you can't, you can't really tell the ma like what this plant looks like because it's obviously been destroyed by um, infection and scissors. But like the pat, the pattern on these once you know they're big and <laughs> like proper leaf is just amazing. And then again, <laughs> this is the last plant that I have. It's really big, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to show you guys this, but. Again, it was on my wish list, and it's just one of those things. You just happen to go like plant shopping, and then you're like, oh, you know, you pick up your like. So like, you know, I picked up these guys, and then I was just wandering along, and again, I just happened upon this. So it was actually the same time that I bought this, and then there was just I, uh, this is really it's probably going to sound really strange to a lot of you, but I was just like, oh, you know, bought this. It was all happy, and then there was just something that was like, just look down. And I looked down and this was there and I was just like, ah, you know, I freaked out. And so I had to pick this up and then I like walked around a bit more and then I saw the next plant and I was just like, is this even possible? Like what? Because this and the next plant 
were on my wish list now not because obviously I have them now but like it's strange how things like that happen so but yeah it is the D Diefenbuckia reflector and oh my god guys yes there is a thing this had well slight thrips and then fungus gnats and there's just fungus gnats flying around everywhere so this works duly I don't know why I know you should have the yellow ones but they also like this one, so <laughs> that's why it lives in here. But yes, this is my Diefenbachia reflector. And oh my god, guys, seriously, this plant, it's like one of one of those plants that I literally stare at all day and I come over and I inspect it religiously and I just love it and oh my god, like these leaves. I'll try and get a close-up of these because they, these leaves are like shiny when you get up to them. There's like this, um, you know, like the sheen to them and they're just gorgeous like this pattern I'm seeing it in, in like my thing and I'm just like oh my god like seriously this is just amazing and they're kind of like I don't know they just feel really nice as well and as you can see this is just giving me new growth like everywhere so this leaf here uh, I don't know if you can see it so this leaf here just unfurled it's giving me <laughs> oh uh, can I show you guys it's giving me a new leaf up here and it's got a whole bunch of new leaves down here and yeah this is giant so this is like I don't even know would you say that's like a meter tall I'd say it's like a meter tall but oh my god yeah this was on my wish list and again when I saw it I was just like have to have it, it there's no option it's it's giant it's ginormous it's gorgeous and yes I love this plant and I'm just taking such good care of it literally because I don't know what it is about me. I'm gonna move this out of the way because you can't even like see my face. <laughs> Let's put it on this side. Maybe you don't want to see my face. Maybe you just want to see these guys. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what my issue is with Deef and Buckyas. They are just kind of thrips attractors. They just attract thrips like no one's business and uh, I don't know why, literally. This guy was fine and then suddenly I just noticed a couple of things. It even had one mealy bug in it. Just the one. Like, not, not a whole bunch. I know, I, I, I checked. I checked this plant, like, thoroughly. There was literally just one mealy bug in it. And I was like, how did that even get on it? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm giving it regular treatments of neem oil. And I don't have any pets or anything. So I don't, you know, I don't have to worry about toxicity or anything. But these are really good plants to have. They grow so quickly and what well, you know if you have the right conditions it's in my south facing window so it's getting a lot of light and it's just yeah i ah oh, i love this plant i seriously do love this plant so yeah that was my november plant haul i've actually ticked off like two of my wish list plants and it's just like crazy how that happens you, you know just wandering around plant shopping and you find your wish list plants and yeah what are some of the plants that you guys have gotten i'd be curious to know let me know in the comments down below if you have any care tips especially for like these guys because i don't know what's happening i don't know what's happening but yeah have a great day or night wherever you are in the world and i will catch you guys soon with another one bye